What is going on guys, my name is Steve from The Checkpoint, the only gaming channel that cooks and sells crystal meth as a side project, and welcome back to Voice of Steve, the series where I break away from the regular chaos of the channel and focus on the more serious aspects of life as we know it. Today we're going to be talking about religion and what I think about the attitudes of heavily religious people, uh, people who live their lives abiding by the rule set, and stuff like that, so let's roll into it. First of all, I'd like to start up with a quote, I can't remember where the quote is from, where I saw it, it's just one of those things I remember and I think you'll all get a kick out of it. <clears throat> Religion is like a penis. You can live your life being proud of it, you can live your life using it in your own personal space, but please don't whip it out in public and please don't shove it down my throat. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think that quote is pretty relatable during this day and age. I mean, Religion has become so alienated from society, especially in Britain, it's become so secluded, so tucked away that when people do speak about it, they act like it's a huge attribute to their persona in an almost elitist way. So, you know, people are like, oh, I'm religious, get on my level, son. You know what I mean? It's like the flaunting the fact that they believe in a god that may or may not exist. And just because you believe in something that that I personally don't, you shouldn't wave it around like a flag with the words, look how great I am on it, and you shouldn't think of yourselves higher than others when you talk about it. I mean, if you believe in that type of thing, then great, that's great, I'm happy for you. I'm happy you've found something in your life that gives you a sense of direction, that guides you along in life, but in my case, it's not for me. And I think the people who are like, well, you know, I believe in this god, so you should all think that I'm great, those people are just friggin' stupid. And um, I think reminiscing back, religion has always been this overbearing thing for me, personally. I'm gonna get onto um, how it, uh, religion affects me now. Um, I mean, at primary school or elementary school, for those across the pond, uh, we had to sing hymns and Christian-based songs and yeah, that's exactly it. We were chained to our seats and forced to sing. No, I'm, ki I'm kidding, but we, we did have to uh, participate in those type of things. You know, old Christian songs, Lord of the Dance, Little Donkey, all that crap. And we had to end every one of the sing-song sessions with a prayer. And sometimes they'd even read from the Bible. And I think in retrospect, it just seems like religion was just shoved at us. Like a big plate of steaming lard with your mum throwing a spoon at you and saying, eat it. It was just a constant flow of religious material sent towards us and it was like an onslaught and it was just crazy like reminiscing back to it we never really um we never really had a choice in these matters. i don't think my parents had a choice either i mean i don't think that in itself it's bad i mean a lot of the bible uh, religious concepts the songs the messages behind the songs i think a lot of these things have very clear moral messages behind it which is something i believe to be very important for a young child to learn i mean you need to know what's what's right, what's wrong, uh, you know, what a good person is, what a bad person is, stuff like that. You need to know, like, these things to get by in life, especially from a young age. If you can implant that idea in some uh, child's mind through, I know, the power of song, uh, reading to them, then, you know, they're all set. But I think it's kind of forced onto people from a young age. I don't think my parents had any say in the matter, and I don't want to make out, like, school children are being brainwashed by the school. I don't want to make out like schools are hypnotizing children and making them believe in God X or you know God Y. I, I just I just think there might be a slight hint of heavy enforcement if that makes sense when it comes to religion in elementary schools. People are trying to uh, implant that idea from a young age and get people to follow that, uh, that rule set. I don't think it's a school thing, I think it's a government thing, but I think it's always been like that, so it's not really a big deal. I just think that religion is kind of forced onto people from a young age, and I think that we all need to recognise that you're not better than anyone else for believing in something, because that's literally it. You just believe in this god, that's it. Get on with your life, we're all the same, we're all human. So on a final note, I don't want to make out like I despise religion, because I truly do. I respect people who believe in something because they found a thing in life that they can follow, they can keep on track with it, keep it to use to guide them through the journey that is life, but I don't particularly believe in that sort of thing. And if you shove it in my face and show it off, that's the point I'll end up body slamming you through a table. And on that bombshell, I'm going to wrap up the video here. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And I hope I didn't offend anyone. I did not mean to offend anyone in this video. It's just purely a rant video where I can let off some steam about 
you know, serious things in life that people don't really like to talk about. And yeah, so I'm going to wrap up the video. So thank you for watching. Like the video and subscribe if you wish. Leave a comment on what you want me to rant about on the next voice of Steve. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one.